The institutions of civil society are important because they are neither created nor controlled by the state. I'm Helen Riddlemeyer from the Center for Independent Studies. That was Kevin Andrews in a speech from last year explaining that the heart of Australia's civil society is its independence. It's true. Voluntary organizations like the Benevolent Society and the Red Cross serve our communities in ways that government bureaucracies can't. Their independence is being threatened by overregulation. In 2012, the Gillard government created the Australian Charities and Not-for-Profits Commission in an effort to cut down on this red tape. In its first 12 months, the ACNC has done just the opposite. Before the ACNC was created, charities complained that they were often required to report the same information to multiple government agencies. The ACNC had the idea of creating a charity passport, which would allow charities to get their government paperwork for the year out of the way in one go, with one long, detailed form. But most other government regulators, so far, have refused to accept the ACNC's form as a substitute for existing reporting requirements. So duplication is still a nightmare. Another purpose of the ACNC Act was to enhance public trust in the not-for-profit sector. But countries that have charities commissions, like the UK, show no higher levels of public trust in charities than countries without them. In 2012, New Zealand abolished its charities commission because it just wasn't providing value for money. Instead of doubling down on the failed charity commission model of regulation, Australia should embrace new forms of oversight that allow the sector to maintain its independence. In the global donation market, online charity evaluators now let household donors research charities before they open their wallets. Here in Australia, we've seen a dramatic uptick in giving from the very wealthy. And with checks that reach into seven and eight figures, you better believe these donors do their research and hold charities to high standards. The threat of government regulation has spooked wealthy donors in the past, causing them to donate less. This is the worst possible moment for the ACNC to crowd out these innovators with an inferior product funded by the taxpayer. Abolishing the ACNC is the first step in setting charities free to do the work that we all value. You can download the full report at cis.org.au.